Okay, this is really about <clears throat> this. Look at the size of that bone. I mean, <clears throat> look at the size of that bone. All the meat on that. Oh, goodness gracious. But we are going to do one more little PSA. <sighs> Carry the steroid in your uh, bug out. Equipment. It's pretty expensive. Go buy it. Look at this. Huh? Wait a second. There's a difference between cleaning and sanitizing and disinfecting and sterilizing. Yes, there is. And wait a second. I'll go to play. Whoops. Hello. Just. Oh, what does it all mean when we're told we can use... What is this? I got it over here somewhere. Because I was making fun about the non-sterile... Um, non-sterile... Non-sterile... Whoop. I can't do them both at the same time. Bow hunting. A silent heritage. I was making fun of the Chinese mask, which said they weren't sterile. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. Hand sanitizer non-sterile solution and sterile is less than disinfectant and uh, I'm not wearing my glasses so I can't read this whoops right So I don't know. Because I just discovered that just now. After I gave him that bone. Look at the size of that bone. <laughs> That's amazing. Scarf got famous on Facebook today. And probably Instagram and whatnot. Alright. Cherish his new love. Be well. Pay attention to this stuff. Because all of these things are the things that can help take down the cabal. I had to explain to my mom just a little bit ago about counterfeit money and how we keep it a secret. A lot of things like how to deal with uh, scammers. So you order a pizza and you say you have a hair on your pizza. You call back and you're like, I got a hair on my pizza. 
and then uh, and the reason why we say to uh, have the the regular customer service representative the CSR to call the manager over for such a thing is because if it is a scam and so then I come over I get on the phone with the person I say I'm so sorry about that I will send you out another pizza right now or a refund and uh, which would you prefer and I'll make it myself you know because I really want to send the pizza but <clears throat> I also say can you please isolate that piece that has the hair in it that you found and put it in a plastic baggie and seal it and then when the driver gets there just leave the rest of the pizza there and uh, we're going to prioritize you obviously <clears throat> and let him have the rest of that pizza now why are we doing this we're doing this because we don't want them to retain the evidence if it is real now I myself am hoping that it's not real <laughs> and <laughs> I've had stores where I've had all Mexicans working for me and the hair came back on top of the pizza and it was blonde <laughs> Probably, yeah, they didn't come from my store. But that doesn't matter because I want to retain this customer. My job is not to turn off that bit of money, even if they are a scammer. I still want their money. And uh, same thing with counterfeit bills, all kinds of things. But there are things that managers know that the regular CSR doesn't. And some people would call it esoteric knowledge. Dun, 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 dun. There should be no esoteric knowledge. Well, yes, there should. <laughs> because there are people who are going to try to scam you. Now, obviously, embezzling is not done by individuals. Oh, wait, wait. But maybe it is. And they have dupes and patsies lined up underneath them and they give them little bits of their esoteric knowledge on how to embezzle and so like with you know ritualistic satanic child abuse when you start getting closer to the people that are actually doing it it gets to be a whole lot more scary for that person because they're about to get caught in their punishment meted out on earth and that was a really nice way to say that oh yes indeed so remember when you hear there are people that have secrets it might be for the good of their business it might be for their own good but don't discount it be well Cherish was the new love <laughs>